the Rosetta Stone. This artifact became the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs and gave birth to a new academic discipline – Egyptology. In July 1798, Napoleon Bonaparte reached Egypt. He did not limit himself to political ambitions to dominate the Eastern Mediterranean and to cut India out from the British. Napoleon created a special commission of the sciences and arts, which included 167 scientists with the aim of comprehensively studying ancient and modern Egypt. During the work on the fortification of Fort Julien, which was located near the city of Rashid, or Rosetta, as the French call this place, one of the soldiers found the Rosetta stone. The officer in charge, Pierre-François Bouchard, immediately realized the importance of the discovery. The Rosetta stone is a fragment of a large stella. It is a decree created by the Memphite priests establishing a divine cult of the new ruler Ptolemy V. The Rosetta Stone is one of the copies of the decree, which were installed in the major temples of Ptolemaic Egypt. What is very valuable is that on this stone the same message is duplicated in three types of writing – in hieroglyphs, in the Egyptian demotic, the simplified cursive Egyptian script, and in ancient Greek which became the language of the administration in Egypt after the conquest by Alexander the Great. Over time, the ancient Greek language became dominant in Egypt. Accordingly, fewer people used hieroglyphic writing, and at the end of the 4th century, it ultimately fell into disuse, after the Roman Emperor Theodosius I closed all non-Christian temples. The French couldn't resist the combined forces of the British and Ottoman armies. On the 30th of August 1801, they surrendered, which brought the end of the French expedition to Egypt. All objects of material culture found by French, including the Rosetta Stone, became the property of the British Crown. Officer Tompkins Turner was commissioned to deliver valuable artifacts to England to King George III. Soon, the Rosetta Stone was presented to the British Museum. Scientists could read the inscription in ancient Greek, and they had a hope, with the help of this artifact, to decipher the meaning of the ancient Egyptian language. Especially during the first two decades of the 19th century, British and French scientists struggled to decipher the Rosetta Stone. The British scholar and polymer Thomas Young suggested that ancient Egyptians inscribed the names of rulers in cartouches. Thus, comparing the ancient Greek text with the Egyptian one, the name Ptolemy was discovered. But Thomas Young couldn't make headway in the research. He, like many European scientists, was still convinced that Egyptian scripts were exclusively ideographic, representing ideas rather than sounds. He was convinced that phonetic hieroglyphs was used only in writing non-Egyptian words like Ptolemy, Berenice or Alexandria. The big breakthrough was made by the French linguist Jean-Francois Champollion. He realized the hieroglyphic script was a mixture of phonetic and ideographic elements. The names of Egyptian rulers, such as Tutmos and Ramesses, were also transmitted phonetically. On September 27, 1822, Champollion presented the results of his research. This marked the birth of a new academic discipline – Egyptology. So, the Rosetta Stone became the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs.